Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the bootstrap. So let's start. First of all, what is bootstrap? So bootstrap is a free CSS front-end framework for faster and easier web development. So if you want to develop a website, then you can go with bootstrap. Bootstrap, it is freely available and it is a CSS front-end framework. CSS means cascading style shape. Front-end means your graphical user interface. So, okay. So, Bootstrap provides us with some inbuilt CSS classes which we can use for developing the website. For developing the website. Bootstrap was developed by Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton at Twitter and released as an open source product in August 2011. So, the, uh, so it was developed by Twitter and it was released in August 2011. After that, many different versions were uh, developed for the Bootstrap. Bootstrap saves you from writing a lot of CSS code, giving you more time to spend on designing the web page. To develop the attractive website, obviously, we'll need to write some CSS code. Okay, so if you use Bootstrap, then it will save time of writing all the CSS code. Okay, but what you need to do if you are using Bootstrap, you just need to uh, use the inbuilt CSS classes in your project. You need to access those inbuilt CSS classes in your project. So, if you are going with a Bootstrap for developing a website, the one thing you should know is your CSS classes. If you know all the CSS classes of the Bootstrap, you can easily develop your website. Then. Uh, Bootstrap includes HTML and CSS based design templates for typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigation, image carousals and so on. Okay, so now when you, you must have seen in the websites, we have some common uh, features or components like we have forms, we have buttons, tables, navigations and all. So Bootstrap provides us an inbuilt template for all these components. Then Bootstrap also gives you the ability to easily create a responsive website. So using Bootstrap, we can create a responsive website. Now what do you mean by responsive website that we are going to see in the next slide. Okay. So in short, what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a free HTML, CSS and JavaScript front-end framework which is used to create a responsive website in an easier way. Okay. Now next, we'll understand what is responsive website. So responsive website means what? It is about creating a website which automatically adjusts themselves to look good on all the devices from small phones to large desktops. So what do you mean by responsive? Responsive means what? If you open your website, if you open a particular website on the desktop, and same website if you open on your mobile phone or tablet, the look and feel of your website should be same in all the devices. Okay, so that is for responsive website. Previously, uh, previously when there was when there was no bootstrap that time, the websites were were not responsive. Okay, so. If the website is not responsive, what happens? If you open the website in your desktop and same website if you open on your mobile phone, the look and feel will be different. Okay, on the mobile phone, you need to zoom in and zoom out, zoom out to see the content of your websites. And even your image resolution will also change. Okay, so uh, this gives the bad experience for the user who is using their mobile phones to access any website. Okay, but nowadays, most of the websites are responsive and to make any website responsive, we should use Bootstrap. Bootstrap is completely freely available. We can easily download and we can easily uh, use it in our project. So now uh, I will show you some uh, examples of responsive as well as non-responsive website. So you will get a clear idea about what I mean by response. Okay. So first we will see non-responsive website okay so see this is a website now suppose i minimize this website so as you can see here the content is getting out of the screen right so if i want to 
see the contain i need to zoom in or zoom out i need to zoom out so that i can get to see the contain see this is your complete website okay now let me open open this in different devices see the text the font size of your text is changed if i make it too small then see what it is happening it is changing the font size and it is also changing for the image resolution and all so as i change the size of the screen what is happening the content which is written here is not properly displayed right so this is a problem of non responsive website okay now we will see responsive website so this is a responsive web website which i have created using bootstrap so as you can see what we have we have slider we have services pricing our team about us now if i minimize it if i change the size of my website screen size so see it automatically gets adjust according to the size of the screen right the image resolution is also same everything is same the font size is also same nothing is changing it automatically get adjust to the screen size so this is called responsive website okay i hope now you have understood what do you mean by responsive website so here one more image i have taken where i have displayed the websites on different different devices so as you can see the look and feel of all the uh, sites on all the devices are same okay now we will understand what are the advantages of bootstrap why we need to use bootstrap so these are the four main reasons of using the bootstrap first of all it is easy to use if you have the basic knowledge of html and css you can start learning bootstrap second obviously responsive features as i said before responsive means what it will adjust your website uh, to all the devices to all the screens of the of your devices third mobile first approach the main uh, development or the main purpose of developing the bootstrap was to make the website mobile friendly so that if the user is accessing your website on the mobile phone the look and feel should be same what we get it on the desktop and fourth is your browser compatibility obviously uh, if you use bootstrap in your websites it is compatible for all the modern browsers like chrome internet explorer firefox etc okay so these are some basic advantages of bootstrap now so these are some bootstrap css features and components so uh, it provides us with a multi column layouts form layout button group button drop down list then also we can develop navigation bars we can give some animated uh, we can give some animation to navigation bar panels are there progress bar alerts thumbnails jump button labels all these are what in all these are what bootstraps components okay so for all these components bootstrap provides us some inbuilt classes okay for example if you want to create a navigation bar for that we have a class called navs bar okay if i want to develop some if i want to add some labels in my website so for that we have inbuilt css uh, class called labels so for each and every components uh, bootstrap has provided us with some inbuilt classes then uh, using bootstrap we, uh, we can also add some javascript component so these are the list of some javascript components like model box drop down scroll spy tab tool tip etc okay carousel is also there so all these components we are going to learn in this complete course now next comes layout now whenever you are planning to develop a website first thing that we have to decide is the layout what will be the layout what will be the format of our of our website okay so here i have display i have given two layouts first in first layout we have header navigation bar contain footer 
In second layout, we have header, main content, sidebar, footer. So this is the common layout. If you go go through any website, you will get to see there is a header. You will get to see a navigation bar, some content, and some footer. Okay. Now, um, as I said before, there are different different versions of Bootstrap. So previously, Bootstrap three was used. In this course, I am going to use Bootstrap 4. This course is all about Bootstrap 2. So there are there are a difference. There are there are a lot of difference between Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap 4. Difference means some of the features of Bootstrap Bootstrap 3 has been removed and some new features has been added in your Bootstrap. The rest all the things like writing the way of writing the code is same in for all the versions. Okay. So we'll understand some basic difference between Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap 4. So first of all, grid system in Bootstrap 3 there were four grid system, whereas in Bootstrap 4 we have five. Then there is one component called card. So Bootstrap 3 does not support card. This is a new feature which has been added in Bootstrap 4. Then glyphicons. This was supported in Bootstrap 3, but it is not supported in Bootstrap 4. Then we have one component called bells, panels, and thumbnails, which was supported in Bootstrap 3, and these features have been removed from Bootstrap 4. And obviously, Internet Explorer. This is a browser, so Bootstrap 3 supports Internet Explorer of version 8 and 9, whereas Bootstrap 4 supports Internet Explorer version of 10 and 11. Okay, so these were the basic difference between the Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap. Now, what files are required for Bootstrap? If you are planning for using Bootstrap to develop a website, so these are the list of files which are required: a Bootstrap.css, Bootstrap.js, jQuery, and Popper. jQuery and Popper are not compulsory, but Bootstrap.css uh, and Bootstrap. Bootstrap.css is compulsory. jQuery and Popper you can use when you want to add some jQuery plugins in your project. Okay, so this was all about the Bootstrap. In the next video, I will show you how to install the Bootstrap and how to use it in your project. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon for new updated videos. Like and share videos with your friends.